When Debbie Adler cooks for her son, she has to be very careful. His life could depend on it. One day, after eating frozen yogurt, he had a severe reaction. And he passed out in my arms. And I, we were not prepared for this. Nobody had warned us. Paramedics saved him. But his doctor found out he was allergic to the milk in the yogurt. And like one in six kids, he's very allergic to peanuts. We just can't take a chance. We don't eat out. We don't um, travel on planes. You know, we have to live differently than the normal family. That may soon change for families like Debbie's. Researchers at King's College London enrolled 640 children under age one who had high risk for peanut allergy. Half were given a peanut snack three times a week. The others were told to avoid all peanuts until age five. The result, avoiding didn't help. Getting a little at a time did. 17% of the kids who avoided peanuts were allergic by five. Only 3% who ate the peanut snacks were allergic. Consumption rather than avoidance seems to protect against developing peanut allergy. A little bit of consumption seems to teach the body peanuts are not an enemy. You need to be introduced to these proteins very early on in life. Sean is older now, but Debbie hopes the technique helps families prevent the life-threatening reaction Sean had. It would change our lives significantly if he could eat all the things he's allergic to.